Hi, Wycliffe Barrett here. I've been doing some light reading. Can you guess what it is yet? Dublin November 180 Bravo Bravo, is it? November 180 Bravo Bravo, good afternoon to you. Report your Uh, 2,000 feet on 1014 Bravo Bravo. Bravo Bravo, the standard for 60, so climb not above, initially not above 4,000 feet on the QH 1014. 4,000 feet, Bravo Bravo. Correct, what's your request of routing? Uh, let's go and then direct. Here we are on the ground at Bangurian Airport, as you can see, is a very nice uh, rendition. And we've got some uh, moving vehicles, ground traffic. Uh, so let's have a look around the airport. I've turned the sound off, or should I say, I've turned the sound of my aircraft down because it's a bit loud. Uh, but we'll just have a look at the main terminal. The, there is really only kind of one main structure here, which is this large three-armed terminal, as you can see. And uh, the guys from IXP team have done a sterling job on this. The ground markings are absolutely superb brilliant stuff and as I said like the moving vehicles they, they actually go through tunnels and come out the other side and all the rest of it so they've done a really bang up job here just looking through here I wonder if I can uh, fly to walk through here yeah we can there's some relative speed so uh, it's really quite nice what they've done they've managed to put a, a a fair amount of clutter on the ground, not an awful lot, but enough just to make it somewhat interesting, uh, which is always difficult, i found, uh, and, and it's the thing that you need to get just about right. If you don't get it right, it can look a little bit silly. Anyway, so just scrolling around here, I like this field out here where they've got some construction work going on. It looks uh, pretty neat. Uh, we'll have a look at that and zoom in there a bit. Yeah, so you can see the construction works going on with these two tractors and uh, trucks. Now then, what I said at the beginning of the film was that there are a number of packages that you're supposed to install. Uh, and it is rather confusing, because when I say there's a number, I think there's something like six, six different packages to download and install. And the installation, whilst it's straightforward, you know, is to just click and drag into your custom scenery folder it's then the scenery in it file that you've got to get into the right order and I might have messed that up a little bit because there are bits of taxiways missing and um, there are other things missing. there's supposed to be photo scenery here uh, and I'm not quite sure that I've got that uh, but certainly as you can see there's like a bit of a taxiway missing there and I'm not quite sure what's happened and I thought I'd installed everything correctly and I'd gone through all the instructions correctly so maybe I'm gonna have to go back to that because uh, it doesn't look as though I've got that right there are roads that are leading nowhere uh, like this one here there's a road comes down here and a line of trees and there's nothing underneath so that's in the wrong order so it's a little bit difficult to install I think and even though they've got instructions if you haven't got if you haven't got all the packages all the parts then something's going to go wrong somewhere I could not find the photo scenery there's supposed to be a file for photo scenery I could not find it I couldn't find it on explain.org it wasn't linked it was talked about but it wasn't linked but uh, there we go uh, you can see the city city out there good rendition of the city some of these buildings have got names on them they've put names on the buildings so that looks really good I mean I to start off with looking at the main terminal area the lighting etc I would give this an 8 out of 10 no like 7 out of 10 right because I've got a couple of niggles and those niggles those complaints if I've got them are around installation and the scenery in a file I'm sure they could have made that a little bit easier because there's some talented guys here. We've got some custom see custom buildings. There's a lot the groundwork, ground art is really good. There are some very, very talented people here. But I think maybe if they just spent a little bit time little bit more time on the installation routine, maybe even, you know, creating an installer for it, I don't know. Maybe that's out of their uh, out of their uh, sphere of expertise, who knows? But that said, I still think that this is a lovely airport. I'm looking forward to flying into it. Look at that tower. It's huge. I am looking forward to flying into Ben Gurion here in Tel Aviv and uh, hopefully we'll do that on stream as well. I 
I like the way that uh, you know the the walkways is uh, talking about the main bank there, but also it's in Hebrew above it. So I like that's a nice touch. Uh, you know the writing, the labeling, and everything. We've got Ignis Ignis support. So uh, to get you on to stand, each stand is numbered really nicely. Maybe they could have done with a little bit more clutter around the airport, and certainly some more static aircraft. As you can see, I'm the only aircraft on the ground here. Um, in you know the British Airways 757 there, but I'd say this was a top effort. Uh, it just needs a couple of things sorted out, and for me, those things are clearly around the installation routine. Once that's sorted, it's it's brilliant. Now, you, when you download this, you're directed to get land class uh, and mesh terrain mesh as well, which I have done, and that is for the whole of Israel, but. Once again, it's hard to tell whether it's installed here because we're down on the coast um, and uh, it's just pretty hard to tell whether it's installed. Um, but, you know, you look at the city, huge number of uh, buildings, uh, habitations, houses, apartments, etc, etc. So really well, really well done. Let's just zoom in on this bit here. Uh, some of these buildings really, really, really looking good, put together really well. So. There we go, uh, LLBG, Ben Gurion International Airport, Airport 2.0, gets a, a decent thumbs up from me, I'd give it a 7, yeah, 7, uh, just a couple of things need, need tidying up and the installation routine being made easy. See look, that extended threshold there, I don't know whether that's supposed to be just markings or whether there should be some tarmac there, yeah, tarmac, it's got to be the same as that, so got to sort that out. I thought I had done it all in the correct order. We'll just have to sort that out. But let's have a quick look at night, see what it looks like in the, the evening. And as usual, uh, it just looks, uh, that you know, that is really quite nice. That's quite terrific. Okay, it's Wycliffe Barrett, Wycliffe Barrett, X-Plane Dedicated. Hope to see you all soon. Take care and have a great weekend. Cheerio.